Hi, sweet friends. Welcome back. Today, we are standing here in our kitchen and I'm getting ready to decorate our coffee bar for spring. Now, despite our crazy weather outside, as you can see, it is snowing. We are continuing on with my spring decorating series. Now, we kicked that off last Friday in our family room. So if you happen to miss that video, I'll go ahead and link it here at the end so you can continue watching. Now, if you are new, hi, my name is Amy and welcome. Here on my channel, you're going to see all things pertaining to home. I love to bring you along as I shop for home decor and my true passion is decorating our home through the seasons and for all the holidays. And I love sharing my ideas with you. Now here on my channel, my goal is to provide you with some entertainment, friendship, some inspiration and motivation, and also some godly encouragement in which I share daily Bible verses with you. And we'll get to that a little bit later in the video. So if this sounds like something that you would enjoy watching, I hope that you would consider subscribing. All you have to do is click that little red subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you back. I'm super excited to get started today. I've been playing around with some of my spring decor and I hope that I give you some new ideas. Even if you don't have a coffee bar like mine, that you could still use some of these ideas to decorate your shelving, your bookcases, as well as your tabletop surfaces. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. I'll grab me one last sip of coffee and we can get started. Real quick, I wanted to share with you our coffee bar area before we start decorating. The cabinet here is from Wayfair. I'll have everything I can linked down in the description box for you. But I love that it has these two drawers. They're very roomy and can store a lot of pods. And as you can see, this is my favorite decaf, which is the McCafe Premium Roast. We also have some Swiss Miss, just hot cocoa mix for the kids. And then over here, my favorite, just normal coffee, is the Dunkin' French Vanilla. And then my hubby's favorite is the McCafe Breakfast Blend. Now, we also love Pete's, the Aurora. But that is so roomy, and we love it for that. And as we come up here, you see we got a new Keurig. Our other one stopped brewing. And so we went with the Keurig Supreme Plus. I'll have it linked down below for you. The only difference is it has a bigger water reservoir and also it is stainless steel. Coming up here, we have a mug rack that is from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to be styling that a little bit different than just putting some mugs on it. And then one of my favorite areas to decorate are these floating shelves that my hubby made. I love these because we were able to customize them and for a much cheaper price than what I could find them. So we'll be just adding lots of spring decor to this area. But first, I do need to do a little bit of cleaning before adding the decor. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have no time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. Okay, so now that we have that all out of the way, we can go ahead and start decorating. I think I'll start with our floating shelves first and then work my way down. With any type of shelving, I like to crisscross my colors. And it's also really a good idea to use different textures. So if you have something that is more textural, like a basket, you'll want to add in a reflective element. Also some aged patinas. And then, like I said, crisscrossing them from top to bottom, from side to side, is going to make the whole arrangement 
really look cohesive and intentional. The first two pieces that I want to incorporate are these coffee mills. This one here is super special to us. It was handed down from my hubby's grandmother. And then this one here, I actually found not too long ago at a local antique store. So I'm gonna place those first and then we'll work around them with placing other spring decor. Now, because that coffee mill kind of looks like it's blending into the shelf, I'm going to add this book box from Hobby Lobby. And I think that'll really draw your attention to the coffee mill and make it stand out. Another way to further make this coffee mill pop is to add some layering behind it, which is opposite its color. So I'm going to be adding these two cutting boards. This one here has that cute little rabbit detail. I got this from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I love that basket weave. And then this cutting board, I believe I got this from Amazon. I've mentioned before that I am still absolutely loving copper pieces. This is another antique find. I just love it. Brings in that antique lived in feeling. And then I'm placing it on some white plates, kind of like the same thing that I did with the coffee mill to really make it stand out and pop. Next, I'm bringing in this cute watering can that was from at home and I love it because it has some copper to it and then look at that patina it's a galvanized metal and so what I'm going to do is crisscross that to the top to really complement the tea kettle now I'm also going to be adding a riser this one here that I found from Hobby Lobby let's see it was $7.99 and I kind of got this idea from Liz. I think her channel name is Traditions Through the Seasons. If I'm wrong, I'll correct it down below. But if you haven't watched her, go over and check her out. She is so creative. You'll love her. So if Liz, if you're watching, hi, thanks for the idea. But what I'm gonna do is place this under the watering can to just really make it stand out. Next, I found this cute little container at TJ Maxx. It was for $5.99, and it has this little coffee stamp on the top of the wood. And so then I'm placing these lavender florals that I got from Hobby Lobby. And so I think I'll place that right around here to just bring in and crisscross that white down to the bottom shelf. cute little cutting board I found from the Target Dollar Spot. It was only $5 and I think that will look really great as a backdrop behind that coffee mill. Next, I'm coming in with this glass cloche. Now this came from Amazon in a set of three. This is the largest. And then this cute little mug is from Hobby Lobby in their spring section and it fits perfectly inside and then we'll display that in front of that cutting board and I think this is going to be adorable. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to try adding this mirror. I like that it's a reflective element and I love the white frame, so I think it'll look really nice behind the watering can. Now to fill in that empty spot right there, I'm going to take this pot. It used to be this color, but I used one of my DIY aged antique techniques to make it look more like stone. So I'll link that video up above for you so you can check that out if you're interested in making your terracotta pots look more like this. And then I'm also going to add more of that lavender here in the pot and then we'll set that in that empty space. And then that's going to reflect in the mirror as well. And I think that's really going to be a cool effect. I could definitely stop right here. I think they look really nice, but for me, it's pulling a lot of heaviness over here because of the black. So I think if I crisscross and put something here that is black, I think that would look really nice. And so what I think I'm doing is going to put this little scale, it's miniature, it came from Hobby Lobby and I just love it. So I think I'm gonna put that right up there in the corner. Now I'll add these cute little birds and some greenery to the scale. I am super happy with how the shelves are turning out. I'll give you a close up look and then we'll move on to the hooks. Awake. Hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright Instead of decorating a tear tray like I normally do and love, I'm going to switch it up and use it to display my coffee mugs. So I'm going to place it about right here and clean it off and then we'll place all of our white mugs. Things are finally right. Next, I'm going to add something here in this area. I think I'll add this beautiful tray with the three wooden legs and the galvanized metal. And then I'm going to add just some springy touch with some plants and a little sign from the Target Dollar Spot.
moving right along now that that is complete i love how that turned out we can go ahead and move down here to the bottom shelf and what i was thinking was putting this large trunk that i got from hobby Mobby and placing that here so let's start there and see if we like it So one thing I really try to do when I'm decorating this area is to conceal the cord back here. And so I always like to place something tall. And so I was wanting to bring in my milk cans, milk jugs and place them. But this is just too large to allow that to fit. You can kind of see, I mean, that's not bad, but it just looks a little crowded in my opinion. So I think I'm gonna move this anyway because it's looking a little bit white. I think I need something dark to punch it up. So I'm gonna remove the trunk and try something else. Now this milk can came from Kirkland's, I believe. Yes, it came from Kirkland's. And then this one was actually for my seasonal decor. So I just turn that around and then I'm able to use it all year round. This one came from at home. So I ran and grabbed this. I think this is a really unique piece. We actually got it as a gift. So I just put some glass jars in here and then popped in some greenery. I think this specific greenery came from Joanne's. So I just put that in there just to give it some life and spring look. And I'm gonna set that right here. Next, I need to have something here for my hubby. He likes to come in and get some tea after dinner. He likes his green tea. And so I thought that the planter that I got from Hobby Lobby in the fall time would be a perfect place to put sugar and teas. So let's go ahead and put that inside and see if that looks okay here on the bottom shelf. Okay friends, well that wraps up today's video. I hope that you enjoyed decorating our coffee bar for spring. I hope I gave you some new ideas for your spring decor. If I did, go ahead, give me a big thumbs up. That really does help me out. Maybe share it with somebody that you know. And also leave me a comment down below if you'll be recreating any of these vignettes in your decor this spring. Now, before we go, I wanted to leave you with a daily Bible verse and some encouragement. I know in the world's events right now, there's lots of tribulation and conflict. So today I thought I'd share with you this, actually two Bible verses. The first one is John 16, 33, and it reads, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. In this world, you will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. And then the last verse that I wanted to share that I think goes right along with that is Romans 12, 12. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, and faithful in prayer. So friends, I thank you so much for spending your day with me. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you very soon in my next one. I'm hoping to go to at home to shop. And so I'll be bringing you along with me and hopefully I'll be sharing that on Monday. And then come Friday, we'll be back to my decorating series somewhere in our house. So be subscribed if you wanna see how I transform our home for spring. All right, well, I'll see you in the next one. Take care and God bless. Bye, friends.